Now then YouTube, how's everything going? Just gonna come to you today for a little vlog, talk about my new setup. I'm running the GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod. Uh, we've got a purple panda microphone running into the helmet and a power bank in the jacket. Now to get that working was a bit of a faff. When you when you plug things in, it doesn't work. <clears throat> I ended up having to go and look on forums because I thought something was broken. I couldn't. I just couldn't get it to work. And I ended up finding out what you've got to do is you have to have the GoPro switched off, plug everything in, power bank switched on, mic plugged in, and then turn the GoPro on with the side button. Don't do it with a quick capture button because that'll just mess things up. You have to do it with the side button so as soon as you do that it works if it turns on I'll just do it out of caution really I don't know if it makes a difference or not but I if when the power but when you plug the power bank in it um, it turns the GoPro on automatically so I turn it off with the side button and then turn it back on again with the side button and, and it seems to be working fine then the, the mics working if you do it a different way to that the mic doesn't work or it doesn't capture a video or something goes wrong with it you have to do it in that order and plug everything in before turning the gopro on it is a bit of a a faff but i suppose once you get used to it it's okay so yes we have been waiting for all this stuff to come so we can get out recording another thing that put me back a bit was the fact that the gear indicator wasn't working i don't know if anybody noticed that from the last videos every time you change into second it was registering as it being in neutral uh, third gear was blank fourth gear was saying it was third gear and so on so i've took that back the bike was under warranty it's uh <coughs> it gets got done now he said it was the uh, gear selector switch it's a common fault with the uh, bmw gs's 700s 750s i think that sort of thing it's uh it's a common fault apparently it's 140 pound he advised me for the switch obviously i didn't have to pay that it was under warranty but for anybody watching out there who's having that same sort of problem that's the sort of price you're looking at to get it fixed it wasn't affecting the bike but whilst it's under warranty i wanted it sorting i love cyclists <coughs> So yeah, we will uh, be able to get up and running now properly. Now we've got the uh, camera set up done, the bike's fixed. As you will have seen from the intro, we've also got some new helmets. I've gone for the Scorpion EX0490. She's gone for the LS2353, I believe it was. <coughs> both a lot lighter well i say both a lot lighter she was wearing an old motocross helmet which is the reason for her swapping her helmet out and it was just one of my older ones she's never been on the back of a bike before so there wasn't any point buying an helmet until she knew she liked it which in sense that she does so we got her the helmet she says it is a hell of a lot quieter and a lot a lot warmer she's moaning now she's too hot whereas before she was moaning she had frostbite to her cheeks where the wind was getting in down the side of the goggles so he, i suppose you just can't please them she said it is a lot quieter and a lot uh, comfier and a lot lighter on her head which is why i ended up going for the scorpion exo because when I, i've got the adx1 as you'll know from me other videos and pictures on instagram i've got the adx1 it's a modular helmet so it is quite heavy and i didn't realize how heavy it was until i tried her helmet on and i just thought wow it's like there's nothing on my head so i've ended up getting a new one the added bonus of that is they both now fit in the top box so when we're out together we can shove our gloves and helmets in the top box no need to carry anything which is a massive bonus coming from a car i'm used to carrying nothing if it don't fit in my pocket it doesn't come with me on a bike it's a bit different so <coughs> we will uh, we will get used to that it, it is a lot better now they'll both fit in the top box anyway we can get off the bike go for a bit of a mooch and leave everything on the bike just our jackets and well our jackets can stay on us but yeah the uh, the scorpion the ex0490 that i've just got lovely looking helmet love the design of it 
I have gone for the dark smoke visor on it as well because I think it looks a lot better with it on. The only gripe with that is there's no pin lock insert in it, which is another reason why I keep going back to this Scorpion, uh, the, the ADX1, because let's get past him. <clears throat> yeah, another reason why I keep going back to this helmet is because it, I've, I've got a pin lock insert and I, I just can't stand it fogging up, so I do need to get one of them sorted for the, for the new helmet. Uh, but the, the, I do love it, I do love the helmet, it is definitely a lot lighter than this, a lot comfier, a lot less wind noise coming through. I am only comparing it to the ADX1 because that is my only other helmet. Uh, as you know I'm new to riding so not really got much to test from or to <coughs> compare it to. So it is being compared to a modular helmet with a, a peak on it. But yeah it's a lot lighter, it's a lot comfier, it's, uh, it's doing the job. Right, where was I? There was another gripe with the, the, the X0490 is that the changing the visor is a bit of a faff to do. There's some, there's two, there's a, obviously two, one on each side, there's a spring loaded clip and you've got to twist it just a little bit and it allows it to pop out. But it, it seems that they're very badly made, it, it seems they're very cheap. It doesn't, doesn't work very well and you've got to and I just don't like the way it's done on the, on the ADX1 it's a treat to change the visor on her LS2 it was a treat to change the visor as well it, it was just in and out but that Scorpion was a bit of a faff to do it took me ages to change it and I'm dreading taking it out now to put in the pin lock insert because then I've got to put it back in again it, it's just a just makes it a bit of a chore to do whereas the other ones they just come out really easily so that was a bit of a a gripe with the helmet but other than that it's not too bad look at that view right so yeah in the uh, helmets we have also fitted the Senna SM5 comm system ordered a dual kit from um, from the sports bike shop that, that was a must, I think, since we got the new full face ones before. It wasn't too hard hearing her because of the, the motocross helmet. More of a voice was coming out, but obviously since trialling them on the bike, I can't, I can't hear her talking to me. It is a bit of a faff. Having to turn around, lift the visor up just to hear what she's saying. It's, uh, it is a lot more insulating of sound. So we got the uh, Senna's, we will do a bit of a review on them. We have yet to try them because the bike, I would say, has been missing for a while. And then I was at uh, PGA Golf Championships, if you'd have seen it from the Instagram. So we haven't had a chance to get on the bike and test them out. So yes, the, uh, the Senna Intercom SM5, we have tried them in the house. Like I say, but we have not had a chance to get them on the bike yet. As soon as we can, we'll uh, do a bit of a review, let you know how they are. I mean, we have tried them in the house, the music sharing, stuff like that. We can hear a lot better, so I can see it making a massive difference when we're on the bike. Um, yeah, so we will do another review soon. So thanks for coming and watching this little vlog. And I'll see you on the next one.